In this video, we're going to prove that every convergent sequence is Cauchy. The proof is actually really easy. So before we do the proof, let's talk about why this should be true. So here's the idea. Let's say we have a sequence and it converges to say L. So what does this mean? This means that for all epsilon greater than zero, we can find a positive integer, which we can call capital N, such that for all little n bigger than capital N, the distance between a sub n and L can be made small. Well, how small? As small as we like, so smaller than epsilon. And I say as small as we like because this holds for all epsilon. So graphically, one way to look at this is to denote this axis by n, and this here can be L. And so the purple dots denote the terms. So this first dot here could be a sub 1. Maybe this is a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5. And in the long run, the dots get closer and closer to L. That's what it means for a sequence to converge to L, that the terms of the sequence, a sub n, they get closer and closer to L. So what does it mean for a sequence to be Cauchy? Well, a sub n is Cauchy if, and the definition is very similar. It starts off with for all epsilon greater than zero, we can find some positive integer, which we'll call capital N, such that for all little n and little m bigger than capital N, the distance between the terms, say a sub n and a sub m, is smaller than epsilon. In other words, the terms can be made arbitrarily close. The terms get closer and closer together. How close? As close as we like, because this holds for all epsilon. So if you look at the picture here, you see that as the dots get closer and closer to L, at the same time, they get closer and closer to each other. So the terms do get closer and closer to each other. So if a sequence is convergent, then it must be Cauchy. Let's go ahead and do the proof. So proof. We'll start by assuming that we have a convergent sequence. So we'll say suppose our sequence converges to L. Suppose a sub n converges to L. And to show it's Cauchy, we need to start by letting epsilon be greater than zero. So we'll let epsilon be greater than zero. Now since our sequence converges to L, so since a sub n converges to L, we can find a positive integer, capital N, such that for all little n greater than capital N, the distance between a sub n and L can be made small. Well, how small? Well, in this case, we're going to use epsilon over 2. The choice for epsilon over 2 will become clear uh, in the next step. So we started with epsilon greater than 0, and we found a natural number such that for all little n bigger than that number, a sub n minus L is less than epsilon over 2. So now we need to look at this, a sub n minus a sub m. So then, for all little n and little m bigger than capital N, let's look at a sub n minus little a sub m. And we somehow need to rewrite this and incorporate this inequality. So the trick is to add and subtract L. So we can write this as a sub n minus L plus L minus a sub m. Right, all we did was add zero. Now we're going to use the triangle inequality on these two pieces here. So this is less than or equal to the absolute value of a sub n minus l plus the absolute value of l minus a sub m. And this is equal to, well this piece is unchanged, it's good, a sub n minus l. And here we can rewrite this as a sub m minus L. Intuitively we can do this because the distance between L and a sub m is the same as the distance between a sub m and L. Now we know something, we know little n is bigger than capital N, 
So this first term here is less than epsilon over 2, right? Because we have this, this condition here. Likewise, little m is bigger than capital N. So this term here is less than epsilon over 2. And epsilon over 2 plus epsilon over 2 is equal to epsilon. So we started with some epsilon greater than 0. We found a positive integer, capital N, such that for all little n and little m bigger than capital N, the distance between a sub n and a sub m is smaller than epsilon. And so we prove that every convergent sequence is Cauchy. I hope this made sense.